Hi, my name is Joanne and this is my company Sparkle Tattoo and we're going to do a demonstration today and show you how to do a Sparkle Tattoo. And this is some of our product that you can purchase on our website at www.sparkletattoo.ca. Hi, this is our lovely model Rayanna and we're going to start the tattoo. First thing you need to do is get a wipe and these wipes that we sell are nice, they are lint free so you won't have them uh, gunking up your brushes and we also sell the pumps and you, it, they're just filled with rubbing alcohol and you clean the skin to make sure you're removing all of the dirt and oils and make it all nice and clean and then the stencil she's chosen is the hibiscus and it's a three-part stencil so there's a clear part and a vinyl part and the paper backing so what you want to do is remove the paper backing and if the vinyl is sticking to it just keep rolling it until it sticks to the clear and then just apply it wherever you want on the skin and then carefully peel away the clear and making sure that it is laying completely flat on the skin and the next step is the glue the glue goes on white. You, want, you don't want to put a thick application of it. You want it to be uh, thin. And it goes on white and it'll dry clear. It needs to dry before you apply the glitter. So it takes about, uh, it takes about uh, 10 to 20 seconds for the glue to dry. As you can see, it's already starting to dry. And when it's completely clear, then it's ready to apply the glitter. Okay, so we have three sets of, or three piece brushes. Um, this brush is used for the fine detail areas where you don't want to get glitter into the larger area. This is uh, an area brush and it will, it will do the larger areas. And then this one is to remove the glitter at the end when you're all finished. So we're gonna start where the stem is and we're gonna put silver on there. And this brush is nice because it, you can work in a small area. And so as you're applying it, you're just dabbing it into the glue to make sure that it sticks and that it's covered thoroughly. And then we're going to use the next brush. You can use your wipe to clean your brushes in between. And we're going to use plum. And this one I'm just going to put around the inside of the the flower and you can kind of blend it out a little bit at the edges and then you'll get a more of a 3d effect to the to the stencil okay are you liking it so far and next we'll do purple and same thing just make sure you're covering all the areas if your brush still feels like it's sticking then there's still an area that you need to cover and just put more glitter on and if you're dabbing it in then it's having a it's adhering better so the most important things are to make sure that your glue is dried completely that you're not applying a thick layer of glue because thick is not better and making sure that you're giving it a complete coverage now we're making a bit of a mess here, but if you do this over a tray, you can reduce the mess you're making. And then you just brush off the extra glitter. And then you carefully peel the stencil away, pulling down instead of up, because that way if there's hair, it doesn't pull on it. And there you go. So as you're doing the tattoo and you're applying the glitter, uh, it starts looking like it's going to be nothing. Uh, you can't see the, the lines anymore and what the image is going to be. And when you peel it off at the end, everyone's always amazed. It looks just like it did on the stencil. Okay, so we've done a ladybug tattoo and these ones are different in that there are loose pieces in the middle that will have to be removed with tweezers. So same thing, just remove the uh, stencil 
And then just get a pair of tweezers and you can still sort of see where the spots are and you just carefully put the tweezer underneath and, and peel it off, making sure not to pinch the skin or pull on any hair as you're doing it. And they come off fairly easy. It, you get quicker at it as you get more practice, of course, but uh, it is fairly easy to do. And there we go. Okay, so some advice on how to take care of your tattoo so that it lasts longer. Um, when you have a bath or a shower, just make sure when you're toweling off, you just pat it dry like this and so the water comes off because if you rub, you'll pull the glitter out. So we're going to demonstrate how to remove the tattoo. I've got the wipe and the rubbing alcohol. Uh, you can also use baby wipes or you can use a um, uh, baby oil and it will take it off quite easily. You'll have glitter everywhere. Um, you'll probably want to run it underwater afterwards and it may take a few wipes to get it off. Just grab another one. The glue is very sticky so it, uh, is, it needs the alcohol to break it down. And it will last three to seven days, um, but when you need to remove it, you can remove it. And then more wipe. And you just want to make sure that you get all the little pieces of glue off, wherever you can still see it sticking. And there we go. Back to new again. We can put another one on. Okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>